Hello students, let us start the discussion of the first practical, dissection of floral vol and TS of ovary. This is the first part. In the second part, I will show you how to perform it. So this practical is given on page number 45 and till 48 of our practical notebook. It will be asked for 4 marks for March or April board exam 2021. The question is question 1, dissect and display floral voles. Section of ovary and pollen grain mountain is not expected from you. The specimen used will be hibiscus flower. The requirement are forceps, razor blade, slides, two needles, cover slips, dissecting microscope, plain paper, etc. The taxonomic hierarchy of hibiscus is it belongs to kingdom planti, class Magnoliopsida, order Malvales, family Malvesi, genus Hibiscus and species Rosa sinensis. So this is a hibiscus flower. It is a complete flower because it consists of all the floral voles. It is a bracteate flower because it consists of bracts. The it has a stalk. The stalk of the flower is present. It is called as pedicel. So the flower is called as pedicellate flower. The expanded portion on the pedicel is thalamus. It is also called as receptacle, which is itself a condensed stem having nodes and internodes. On it, the various floral voles are arranged. It has two essential voles called as androsium and gynosium. It is called as essential because it participates in the reproduction and accessory voles calyx and corolla, which are for attracting the insects or protecting the flower. <clears throat> First, we'll talk about epicalyx, also called as bracts. You can see in the picture, these are bracts or epicalyx. It consists of 5 to 7 free bracteoles. If the flower is with bract, it is called as a bracteate flower. If the flower is without bract, it is called as e bracteate flower. Calyx, the calyx is the protective wall. It is green in color. Members of the calyx are called as sepals. If sepals are free, the condition is called as polysepalous. If sepals are united, it is called as gamosepalous. Function, protection of the flower under bud condition or it also helps in carrying out photosynthesis. The next accessory vole is corolla. Members of corolla are called as petals. If the petals are free from each other, it, it, the condition is polypetalous. If petals are united, it is called as gamopetalous. Function of the petals is to attract insects for pollination. Now we will start about the essential vole. The first is the androsium. It is a male reproductive vole. Members are called as stamens. Parts of stamens are filament, connective, anther. If the filaments are joint and anthers are free, this condition is called as adelphi. If it forms one bundle, the filaments join to form one bundle, the condition is called as monoadalphus. In hibiscus, we are going, going to see the condition of monoadalphus. If it joins to form two bundles, then the condition is called as diadelphi. In pea plant, we can see diadelphi. And if the filaments joins to form many bundles, the condition is called as polyadelphi. It can be seen in citrus flower. Syngeny. When anthers are fused and filaments are free, it is called as syngenous condition. It is found in sunflower. We are going to see monoadalphus condition in hibiscus flower. Let us discuss about gynosium. It is the female reproductive vole. Members are called as pistils or carpels. <coughs> Flowers, the parts, are, the parts of the pistils and carpels are style, stigma, ovary. As you can see in the picture also, if the carpels are many in number and they are united, the condition is called as syncarpus. If carpels are many in number and they are free, then they are called as apocarpus. In this picture, you can see there are five pistils or carpels and they are fused to form a single ovary. So it is a syncarpus gynosium. <clears throat> it is pentacarpillary because five carpels are fused to form a gynosium. You can see in the TS of ovary, if you take a cross section, this is the actual picture which we have taken a cross section. I'll show it in video part two of the same practical. Here you will see that there are five compartments. These compartments are called as locules. In each locule, there are two ovules present. In the center, you can see that there is placentation. So it is exile placentation. You can see exile placentation present in hibiscus, pentacarpillary, syncarpus, ovary. TS of ovary is not expected from you, but you have to may, might have to draw this diagram and explain. So you have to arrange the floral voles in this pattern. You have to show epicalyx, calyx, gamosepalous condition, corolla, polypetalous condition, androsium stamens showing monoadalphi. Uh, this is actually a single staminal tube while cutting or dissecting it got separated by my hand. 
monothecus reniform anther it has a single lobe so monothecus reniform kidney shape you can see in the picture kidney shape anther and pentacarpillary syncarpus gynoecium so students i hope you have followed this is a ts of ovary you can see pentacarpillary syncarpus ovary with five locules and exile placentation <clears throat> Different questions are given at the end of the practical in the book handbook of practical Balbharti book. What is a flower? So it is a highly modified and condensed reproductive shoot, specially designed for sexual reproduction. What is the function of the flower? Of course, it plays a very important role in sexual reproduction. Which are the essential roles of the flower and why? Androecium and gynoecium. Androecium because it produces the male gametes. Gynoecium because it produces the female gametes. What is the difference between polypetalous and gamopetalous corolla? Polypetalous petals are free. Gamopetalous petals are united. Which are the different parts of the stamens and carpels? Stamens consist of filament, connective and anther. Carpel also called as pistil. It consists of style, stigma and ovary. So you have to write down these question answers at the end. There are some MCQs given. Uh, so I have written just the answers of these MCQs on page number 48. For example, which placentation is present in hibiscus? Exile placentation. What type of anthers? Monothecus anthers. What type of pollination? I think cross pollination. The uh, valvate and twisted estivation is shown by the corolla and the ovary in hibiscus is a superior ovary. So students, I hope you have understood the first part of this practical. Second part, I will be posting a video. Thank you.